Were you a 49ers fan as a kid? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'd like, I don't know if everyone, everyone has like a year where you kind of remember, like your memory goes back only so far, right? About five years old, maybe five, four. Yeah, like snippets of preschool, but basically there's one year that you remember most of. That was 1994 when the Niners went to the Super Bowl. Uh, I loved that team. I loved every player on that team. Lee Woodall, Gary Plummer, Eric Davis, Merton Hanks, everyone. Jesse Sapolu, Bar Nunn. Uh, was Elvis Gerback on that team? Elvis Gerback was on that team. Of course, Steve Young, my favorite player in the league, and Deion Sanders. Loved, fell in love with football, fell in love with the 49ers when that was my first year, you know, being an aware human being. And followed him through the Jeff Garcia years, was a big fan in college. And then when I became a sports writer, I realized that you needed to give up being a fan. Believe it or not, you can enjoy football without having a rooting interest. I can sit down and watch the Bengals play the Browns and be fascinated for three hours. Can't you? And I really don't care who wins a game. If, the, if I'm covering the game and the Niners win, great. Something to write about. If they lose, great. Something to write about. It's always interesting to me. I can't imagine watching a good, a good game and being like, I just can't find any pleasure and enjoyment in this unless I arbitrarily pick one team to root for. What's that about? I'm not 11. I'm really not a fan anymore. Do I seem like I'm broken up when the Niners lose? Do you think that I have a bad day if the Niners lose a game or I don't sleep that night? You really think that? Do I, do I come across as someone who's broken up, who's emotionally affected by the team I cover? Do you think I get upset when, when, when UCLA football loses? I don't even know what their record was last year. I root for them to lose because I personally don't like Chip Kelly because I covered him for a year. I didn't really like him. And now he covers. Now he, I used to root for UCLA. But he ruined that. I can't even root for my alma mater anymore. So I root against UCLA. I even root against my high school. No, I don't root against my high school. They can win. I root for Bishop Dowd High School. If Bishop Dowd's playing, I hope Napoleon Kaufman will lead them to success. I'm a fan of a good column. The games are just a means to an end. In fact, just give me a column. Yeah, I root for a good column. When I go to a game, I need to perform, and the Niners have nothing to do with that. They could get blown out. They could win by two. They could blow the other team out. I still need to perform. Yeah, I went to UCLA. I was from I was at UCLA from 06 to 2010. Love that school. I was there. I was in the same class as Russell Westbrook. Uh, yeah, he was in my grade. He was there for two years. We took a class together. It was a um, one of those bogus, uh, you know, what are they called? One of those class for freshmen that you have to take. It was a science class, and I signed up. Everyone signed up because it sounded cool. It was dinosaurs and their relatives. Sounds cool, right? No. No. It's the only class I ever got a C in at UCLA, or like really ever in my life. I got a C plus in that class because you have to be an archaeologist and like and like memorize fossil formations. It's awful. Anyway, Russell Westbrook was in that class with me, and I'm sure he got a better grade in it than I did. I'm sure he got a better grade in it than I did because – basketball players have that whole support system around them. You know, they, they have to go to tutoring. The tutors are terrific. So yeah, I'm sure he got an A in that class. K-Love, Westbrook, Ariza. Ariza wasn't there when I was there. When I was there, it was Mba Mute, Josh Ship. I don't know if you remember Josh Ship, starting uh, small forward. Joe Ship's little brother. Joe Ship went to Cal. Darren Collison, Aaron Aflalo. Um, and then there was Nikola Dragovich. You know, that was back when colleges and NBA teams were trying to get Eastern European players. They were trying to get the Doncic's and the Dragovich's of the world. So they got this dude, Nikola Dragovich, who was just trash. He was so bad, dude. so bad. He just stood at the three-point line and bricked threes all day and played no defense and got no rebounds. But he played a lot, and he was in our grade. And people said I looked just like him. So I used to have Nikola Dragovich as my picture on Facebook, and it was kind of funny. It's not really a funny joke. I don't even know why I told you that right now. Nikola Dragovich. James Franco was the star of that school. Don't you dare bring up James Franco. God. Three th things you can't bring up when you're around me. James Franco, the Beatles, basically those two things. I don't want to talk about it.